CTPH, Conservation Through Public Health, which is a grassroots NGO and non-profit that promotes conservation by enabling people, gorillas and other wildlife to coexist through improving their health and community livelihoods. We set up CTPH in order to improve the quality of life of the people around the park so that they don't present a threat to the survival of the endangered mountain gorillas. I realized what the gorillas were doing for the people and why they needed to be protected. They were susceptible to human disease. From the tourists who come to visit, I found out that the local community was a very great threat as well. When we found that the mountain gorillas had scabies, it was eventually traced to people living around the park who have very little health care. So we found that we couldn't protect the gorillas without improving the health of the people living around the park. We support gorilla health monitoring, where we analyze fecal samples regularly and compare them to what we're finding in the people and the livestock and prevent disease between them through either getting the gorillas treated or improving the community health through our village health and conservation teams, we found that our approach is reducing the conflict between people and wildlife. Because when you show people that you care about their health, you make them feel like you're not only caring about the animals or the forest, but you also care about them. So we decided to set up a global brand called Gorilla Conservation Coffee that can save gorillas through improving the welfare of the farmers. They will get a good prices for good coffee, which then reduces their need to enter the park for food and fuel wood. And a donation from every bag sold goes to support the work of CTPH to improve the health of the community and the gorillas and the attitudes of the communities around the park. I thought it was important to work with the mountain gorillas because there were so few in number. There were about 600 at the time when I first started working with them. And we're really pleased that the numbers are now almost double. I felt that if we don't do something, we'll lose them forever. And it will be a really big loss to humanity and to Uganda and the world as a whole.